Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day number 6. Today I am doing a cleaning motivation video for you. And trust me, if this isn't cleaning motivation, I don't know what is. My house is a disaster. As you can see, I'm starting off in our bedroom. It wasn't too bad, I just needed to kind of get things picked up a little bit, wipe things down, and get the bed made for the day. Next time I just headed into our, our hallway. I don't think I've ever dusted these pictures out here and I also don't think I've ever wiped down that mirror since I put it up either. Um, and then moving on to our living room, I'm just picking up our drinks, our blankets, and our books from our morning read. And then I'm going to get the curtains open as well. I shut them last night and I don't normally shut them and I definitely don't like them shut at all. <laughs> um, having them open just provides a little bit more light in this room. As you can see, it's pretty dark in here anyway. So if you see under my Christmas tree, I do already have some gifts wrapped. That's because I just do like a couple every single day so I don't have to hurry up and get them all done on Christmas Eve or whenever we do our family Christmas at home. It just makes the holidays a little bit more simple. Um, it's not a huge deal to wrap the presents the day before, but it's just one less thing that you have to worry about. just moving on to my son's room it wasn't really a whole lot to do in there just wiping things down and getting it vacuumed again I had just cleaned the other day in here and most of his toys are actually in his playroom now so really his room doesn't get very messy it just needs to get wiped down and dusted every once in a while So now we are downstairs in the living room area. This is not the playroom I'm talking about, but I can see why you would get kind of confused. Um, he does have lots of toys. This is just one of the central areas that we put most of his toys. So we were just kind of getting those picked up. And then of course I was picking up Emma's toys as well because she's just as bad as Lucas when it comes to getting her toys out and not picking up after herself. And then um, just getting the rest of it all cleaned up, wiping down the coffee table, and then doing some vacuuming as well.
get myself on a good laundry routine and I've gotten some ideas from like Amanda from this this crazy life vlog um, and some other good mommy vlogs as well I'm just still trying to figure out what works best for me I usually do about a load every single day and then on to vacuuming. So my dog doesn't really like the vacuum very much. So that's why you can see her running after it. And she actually tries to bite it and then she gets scared and then runs away. And I don't really know how to break her of that habit. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comments because I need some help in that area. So the vacuum that I am using is the Dyson Animal Upright Vacuum. It has been a great vacuum. We've been in this house for three years and when we bought the house was when we bought that um, when we bought that vacuum. So it's lasted us a while. Um, I do want to get like a cordless or a handheld vacuum just because doing the stairs is such a pain as you can see. Okay, so this room is kind of embarrassing for me to show, but honestly, it's just, if you have a cat, you understand the mess that they make, and really there is nothing to be ashamed of, except the fact that I don't clean it as much as I probably should. Anyway, um, so we are currently trying to get her trained to use the toilet. It's just been kind of a long process because she is older so I'm taking it extremely slow. I've been working at it for about four months and that's all the farther that I've gotten is just elevating the litter box up to the toilet level. Um, next step is to get one of those toilet covers that you put the litter in and then they jump on the toilet and go potty. So hopefully we can get that done soon and then I won't have to worry about cat litter ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> So this is what happens when you just get done vacuuming and hand your son some popcorn. He dumps it all over the couch. So now I'm just moving on to my entryway. This probably should be cleaned every single day just because of the leaves that are getting trapped in and the mud from the dog. But I usually only clean it up like a couple times a week just because it does become a huge chore as you can see. <clears throat> um, also, I just wanted to mention I have no cleaning routine whatsoever. Um, I kind of just start with the easiest rooms and then work my way from there which is why I'm saving the kitchen for last because the kitchen is absolutely horrible. I did not do any dishes or anything the night before so uh, it is it's it's pretty pretty bad. <laughs>
before I even get started cleaning the kitchen, I wanted to start making it smell good. So I got orange peels from this morning's breakfast and cut up the rest of the oranges that we had. Added water, cranberries, cinnamon, and clove seasoning and just boiled it as I was cleaning. It smelled just amazing. Um, there was no measuring. I just kind of threw stuff in there and let it boil throughout the day while I was cleaning and it was just so satisfying to have that smell as I was cleaning. So I usually use the Wyman's stainless steel spray for my appliances, but as I was doing them here, I've kind of noticed a lot of streaks and I'm not really sure why that was happening. I've had really good luck with it before and all of a sudden on this particular day, I still had a lot of streaks on my fridge. Um, I'm going to try it again, but if you guys have any other recommendations out there as to why all of a sudden it's not working or if you have a different product that you think I should use, let me know in the comments. I would love to get some more recommendations. Also, I am not ignoring my son. Um, he got into his Christmas presents and kept asking me to open them and I just was not having it. I am not going to give in. I am not going to give in. He is going to open them on Christmas and that is final. <laughs> So the dish soap that I am using today is the Mrs. Meyers Orange Clove Dish Soap and I am also using the walnut scrubbers that I got recently in my first Grove order. Um, I am so impressed with this company right now. I spent so much time being on the fence and not really sure if I wanted to join the company and then I tried some of the products just by buying them at Target or at Amazon and I am very impressed. Um, so if you guys want to try them as well there's going to be a link in the description um, if you order in through that link you will get a free gift I think it's um it's a caddy and then a three-piece cleaning set as well so definitely take advantage of that
So that's all I have for you guys today. I had a messy house and I bet you guys are thankful for all of the cleaning motivation I just provided for you. Um, if so, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my Vlogmas videos and more cleaning videos in the future. Bye! Thank you.